Okay. What should go here? Now this is this is really interesting because we got two sources to get into this carry, right? Because the first carry comes from x1, y1. So c x1, y1 is the first reason why this might be a one. But there's a second one. The second one is coming from. Well, I'm going to use a mouse pointer. The second one comes from the carry coming from adding this term to this term, right? So now we have a much bigger mess because it's going to look like this, okay? Well, first of all, we'll, we'll talk about the two components and then we'll talk about, you know, how do we get those two components to kind of work together? This is the first component, it's easy. The carry of adding this bit to this bit certainly will go here. But that's not the only reason why we might end up with a one. There's another reason why it might end up with a one and that has to do with this term adding this term. If it has a carry, it also goes here. All right? So now we have a second term, which is a carry. And once again, I'm being lazy here. that. And then the relationship of how we should you know, merge these two into one is a simple OR. So to get this to look right, it's going to be like this. Move this one over. This one's good already. All right. And what we how how should we put into that you know, last spot there? Dot dot dot. Well, because we have that <coughs> notation, okay. Now this one here, okay. Let me just you know, give you a, an idea of, of what I'm talking about here. This is also known as if I use you know S with a subscript, what should that be? Zero. Yep. And this one, this guy actually has a much shorter name, right? Because it's bit one of the sum. Hmm. Now, if we utilize you know these terms, you know bit one of the sum, um, we also will end up. Let me go back to here. Okay. So if I if I use that term. This also has a different term, right? This is also known as C subscript one. Okay, so I'm just going to add this part here. It is also known as you know, C subscript one because it is the carry of bit one. So with those terms, I think it is easier now to express this term here because what what how are we going to express this term? And by the way, this entire, this big huge mess here. Uh oh. No, no I do. I do. I do. Control Z. Okay, here we go. All right, so this entire term is also known as C subscript 2. Okay. So how do we come up with this term here? It is the. Yep, it's R, X2, Y2, and then another R, oops, another R using C2. Okay, and you know this whole term is also otherwise known as some bit bit two of the sum. Okay, so you can see you know how we can actually kind of keep on doing this. Now, when you look at this as a picture, it's actually a lot easier to understand because you, know, you can see how the half adders connect to each other. I actually have the notes for that too, but I cannot remember where I put it. So I kind of have to look for that and then put it back into my, you know, the links. Um, but this is how everything is calculated, okay? You know, when you have a, you know, multi-digit addition, you know, or a machine to perform multi-digit addition, this is how you can use, you know, uh, logic gates to finish the entire operation. 
Okay. How many people have taken at least one class in electronics where you use you know actual logic gate chips to implement something? Okay. So some of you you know, have hands-on experience with that. Um, how many AND gates do you get out of a chip? Now I'm talking about a 74 jelly bean part. Um, four, four ish, yeah. right? You know, four about four chips. I mean four uh, four gates. You can get four gates out of a chip. How many Six. gates do you think it will you will need to handle three bit by three bit addition? A lot. Okay. A lot. Yes. <laughs> okay. And that's what you know. That's what's happening when you have you know an, an adder inside a processor. Do you think there are adders inside the processor? Do you think the processor knows how to add two numbers together and figure out the, the answer? And it has what 32 bit, 64 bit adders, right? Now, when we talk about this, I'll just kind of go back to my notes. I know I'm running out of time right now. Okay. So this slide talks about you know when you have explicit carry bits. In other words, when each bit, when each carry bit is explicitly you know um, represented, then you can do what we call you know cascading. You know you basically have a very uniform design. You have a half adder here, half adder here, and then the two carries will join together and become the carry bit into this half adder, and then you can do the same thing here. But this design has a problem. Until these two adders are completely done, you cannot trust the output you know, into here. So you kind of have to wait until this is all done, then this will have its own time to settle you know, the, you know, the levels in the logic. And then once this is all done, then you can trust this one to give you the right output, and so on. In other words, you can see that the carry is the problem, because you know, it needs time to ripple or propagate through the entire adder. Now imagine this is not only 3-bit, and this is 64-bit all the way down here. It's going to take a while before you know, the, 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 the carry from each stage to stabilize, and then the next one can be trusted, and then it stabilizes, and then can, the next stage can be trusted, and so on. And that's called carry propagation. Okay, it's a propagation delay. And that's why Intel and AMD, they never use this particular method. So instead of using this method, which means you know, we are going to simplify the design, and then each column has its own carry bit coming out, it's going to use the alternative. The alternative is like this. Okay, C0, which is the carry of bit 0, is pretty easy. C1, which is the carry bit of bit 1, is looking a little bit more complicated. C2 gets even more complicated. But you know what? The, if you design an adder like this, it's not going to look like this anymore. Instead, it is going to be a lot more complicated. But it also has the least propagation delay, which means you get the entire sum you know, at the least amount of time, in the least amount of time. Is that OK so far? Okay. I only worked my way up to C2. And you know, as uh, subscript one, does anyone want to take it one step further? Subscript n. <laughs> Sorry. So you're talking about subscript n? Um, subscript, you know, just subscript three for carry, and subscript two for the sum. It's going to get quite a bit more, you know, hairy, and that's why you know this is never really done by hand. Okay, no one at Intel is trying to work this way, you know, and work all the way up to you know S subscript 63 and C subscript 63. Okay, it will drive anyone insane. Okay, it's not difficult math or you know uh, Boolean algebra. It's just tedious. Okay, it's just extremely tedious, and that's why you know this stuff here is actually generated by programs. Okay, some people write programs to generate you know the logical equation to handle you know, the, the, the uh, bit n of the sum and also bit n of the carry. Okay. Are there any questions about this? Yep. Why is the partial sum represented with an R? Sorry? The partial sum? Yeah. Wait. Because that's the result of a half adder. So oh. R is I didn't know that. Sorry? I didn't know that yet. Didn't know? No, I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> 
right, so we are running out of time today. You know, we are now at this note. Okay, so I just want to show you where we are at certain right now. So we are now you know, talking about half adding and full adding. So you need to read at least up to this point and also push a little bit forward to the story of registers. Okay, so I want you guys to also read about the registers. Some people have already finished with memory access already, um, which is not going to hurt. I mean, this is the stuff that you eventually will have to read if you have the time to read ahead of me and we'll talk about it on Thursday. Any questions? <coughs> All right. So for, for okay, for people who for people who want to add to the class, you know, this will be the right time to come up here and then go do the adding. And I'll stop the recorder.